Hi, this is Kenny Xie speaking. I'm from the Department of Energy Engineering, National United University. In this unit, we're going to talk about the, the voltage loss due to the internal current leak. The voltage loss due to internal leak, that's because uh, between the anode and the castle, uh, there may be some, some kind of shortage and uh, cause the uh, current the direct flow from one electrode to the other electrode rather than go through external uh, loading. That means that there's no uh, the energy some kind of consumed by the internal current leak. Sometimes this may also cause due to the hydrogen crossover because hydrogen is supposed to be on the anode, but somehow it's getting the castle, then will cause the, the voltage deviation from whatever the castle oxygen reduction is supposed to be. In that case, uh, also will cause the, the cell voltage loss. This is very significant on the direct method of fuel cell. In that direct method of fuel cell, the method might be cross the membrane and the, go to the, uh, the castle, the oxygen reduction reaction site, cause the oxygen reduction reaction potential drop because there's a method appeared. Uh, exist in, in a castle. Let's see why it happened. We consider uh, a, a fuel cell or the battery, something like that. And uh, in the normal case, we had uh, connected with the external load. So the current will be go through the external load, ex external load here. So we call the current here is IEXT that goes through the external uh, electronic load here. But unfortunately, if the, there's uh, some uh, failure in the battery and then there's a leakage between the anode and cathode inside the cell, then the sun current actually will flow through here, through the uh, internal uh, leakage, the circuit here. So in that case, the actually the current uh, over here they had to generate or produce equal to the external circle current plus uh, the current lost over here, I lost here. So from the Tafel equation, the current over here, the current over here, we can substitute this equation and uh, can see uh, into this equation. So there's additional, actually, but uh, when the useful electricity, only the IEXT, and this one we cannot enjoy at all because it uh, consumes the inside the cell. So, so the cell voltage loss at a circle, open circle voltage, when the external current equal to zero, this means even we use a, a voltmeter to measure the cell voltage when there's no current flow through, the cell voltage was lower than the supposed to be, lower than the equivalent potential. Because uh, from this equation, we assume that I is EST equal to zero, then we end with this term. So if without, if there's no external uh, leakage current, then the OCV equal to the reversible potential, reversible voltage or the equipment put voltage here. But uh, because there's some leakage, so make uh, this uh, o OCV is less than uh, supposed to be. So the cell voltage loss uh, due to the crossover or internal uh, cur leak current, uh, we can express as uh, by this equation or the cell, cell voltage loss due to a crossover or internal leak, leakage current, delta V, X, O, V, R, is by this term here. If we plot the cell voltage against the current, then we had this plot, you can see. Um, over here, the, at the OCV, being affects significantly by the crossover, by the current, the crossover, the, the voltage loss. Uh, but at the high current region, uh, the inference of the uh, internal current leak or crossover become in, insignificant. 
This is because you can see from this equation mathematically when the this one getting small and this one become important. But when this getting larger, then this one back become less insignificant. So uh, this one's behavior uh, it different from the activation over potential because in the activation over potential, um, the OCV is the same, but in the small current dense region, it drops uh, quickly if the uh, electrical activity is low. But uh, in the leaking, leakage current, the most significant is the OCV drop. So if you build a fuel cell or the battery, you find the cell voltage OCV is much lower than expect. Definitely, it's had the internal leakage current or the, the electrical has somewhere shorted out. But uh, as long as you, if the OCV are the same, but uh, when you start draw the current and then the, the cell voltage drop quickly, then that means the ele electrical activity. That means either the catalyst or electrical surface error was blocked or the electrical was passivate. So you can just simply by look at the cell voltage and the current curve behavior, you can make a judgment of what's wrong in the fuel cell or in the battery.